Welcome to another episode of Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Today, we're going to talk about the Buddy Flex Heater. There's some people, I've been reading comments and reviews that have an issue of it starting. And I'm going to go over something that I've done a couple times already since I've owned it to uh, get it to light again. You guys stay tuned. These are the items that I'll be using. I think this is what I've used in the past because you have to take off this shield and you have to take off this whole grate and then you have to take off this little guy before you can get at it. All right, I'm gonna try to do this and show you what this does if it doesn't light. So if I put it on ignite, it does that, but then when you take it off to turn it to the heat mode, it shuts off like that. It doesn't go and fully ignite this whole area. When you try to turn to it, it goes from this, and when you turn it to on, or to low or high for it to work, this is what happens. It just shuts off just like that. So, I have found something that if you do this, it has worked for me every time I've done it. So I'm gonna show you guys what that's all about. First, let's make sure we take off the propane cylinder when we're gonna work on it. You don't want a source of gas going to the igniter when you're trying to work on it. So make sure that is off and there's nothing connected to it. So the first thing you want to do is take off this shield. Got that one. Next is the part that I do not like doing to get a screwdriver and all these and get them out. So I have one with an extension. It looks like this because if I go right through here, it reaches all the way to the back. And I can start unscrewing all those screws. Now, we have to get off this little screw. So I use a shorter screwdriver. So I can get underneath here to here. So I can get that off. We'll put this one right here. And all this does, you just take it, tilt it up, pops right out. Has a little hook that you just slide right in there. Next is the part that the reason why it doesn't ignite and switch to the lighting this whole thing up is because usually this and this are dirty. What do I do? I went into the first aid kit and got an alcohol pad. Just a regular old first aid kit. Don't, doesn't need to be special. Just needs to wipe off what's ever built up on here or here. And then hopefully, hopefully, it lights up again. We'll see. Well, the garage heater finally shut off. It's about 10 degrees outside and I cranked it up to 60. But here, you just want to take it, rub this part down, rub this part down. Just get it all nice and clean so that you get any of the old residue off because we want it to work. It's going to get cold out and it's time for, it's almost time for heater weather. After that is done, you just take this, wipe off any of the excess, dry it off a little bit. And we're 
we're ready to put it back together. Okay, so we just do the same exact thing except for in reverse. Take this, there's a little notch right there. Just put that right in there. Line up the hole, grab the screw. It should go right back in. Next, we're gonna take this cage. And these things are still on it. You can remove those, but it doesn't need to for this. Then you have to line up that hole, that hole, and those other two. And you have to get the grate back in. There's these two little notches down here. You can see them? They go into these spots right here. I will show you how I do this, but I might have to speed it up and not talk through it because it can be a challenge when you're doing it all by yourself. What I'm trying to do with one hand. So, here we go. That is called sleight of hand, steady hand right there. And the last one. Let's see if we can fish this one in. <laughs> like a glove. Can't forget the heat shield. Deflects the heat up a little bit so it doesn't just go straight to the ground and a little bit better looks. Okay, everything's put back together how it's supposed to be. So nice and solid. We'll take our propane canister, screw that back on. Okay, we're gonna go for the same angle as last time. Got it on ignite, lit right up, release, and let's see what happens. Voila, we have heat. So I really love this heater, but man, it was frustrating when that happened to me the first time. Took it all apart and I've had to do it twice so this is the third time now just wipe that down and works again I love this heater though it works perfect for my fish house As long as we're talking about the heater, I want to talk about this quick. I just got this today. It's an 11 pounder because I uh, am sick of carrying the 20 pounder around, especially when I'm trying to be portable. The hose I have, you can see does not have a filter because for this heater in the manual, it says if you get this particular hose, you do not need a filter on it. I've used it for two years now, and it's worked very well. What I really like about this, 
especially for ice fishing, no more guessing. This propane tank came from Home Depot and it lets you know how much propane's left. Obviously I just got in the mail today, so it's not full yet, but it will be soon. Just take that off as the correct end. Put this side in there, that in the back of the heater. And we got heat. Show you this quick. This is my fish hose. And when you're using this one all the time, I actually wore a hole through my old my old uh, otter cover. Because when it'd sit on there and I'd strap it to the trailer and stuff, so I just I just want to be more portable and have a smaller one. So I think that's the perfect size. All right, I hope this video helps some of you guys that have been frustrated with the Buddy Flex. Like I said, the first time that it happened to me, man, I had this thing totally apart. And then I figured out that once I just cleaned off those two things with a rubbing alcohol pad, worked good as new again. I really love this heater for my Otter Pro Lodge and uh, it works great in there, it doesn't get too hot like some of those higher BTU uh, propane heaters. This one seems like it's just the sweet spot, especially on low, it just feels really nice in there. I like it a lot. And it has that radiant, ooh. <laughs> and it has that radiant 180 degrees, not just shooting straight out the front. So I put it in the middle of my two holes that I drill. And I put it on one of those foam pads can sit all day in there. It's beautiful. Hopefully this helps some of you guys with your uh, heater problems because I've seen a lot of reviews about the Flex Buddy heater not igniting or not staying lit. And before you get too frustrated, that's the number one thing I would try right away. Thanks for tuning in to Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Be sure that you like this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll see you next time here on Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Peace. See ya.